Hey everyone, I'm here to do a response to a video that one of the people I've subscribed to, uh, Rashitsu, did. Now, in case you don't know, Rashitsu uh, did commentary for a video uh, where a guy on YouTube, I'm not going to mention his name because I can't think of it right now, basically did a top 10 Sonic Girls list. Now, we're not just talking any top 10 Sonic Girls list. He did a top 10 of the hottest Sonic Girl characters. The hottest. Now, Ratsutsu, the reason she did some commentary for this is like, you know, because like me, you know, because like Ratsutsu, well, basically the reason Ratsutsu did uh, commentary on this, on this video, is because well, at first she kind of found it, well, like me, kind of like a little weird, you know. I mean, both of us, and especially Rashitsu, can understand doing a top ten Sonic Girls list because, you know, she had done one for me. I requested one time from her to do a, a top ten Sonic Girls list, and um, she did it, and I did one in response. But this was just basically like the top ten Sonic Girl characters overall overall in the franchise in both of our opinions. Uh, this individual, though, decided to do a top ten list of these female of the Sonic of the Sonic Girls he felt were top ten, but also felt were attractive, were basically like gorgeous and hot and like you know the kind of girl you want to get with. And Ratsutsu did some commentary on this, and you got to check out her commentary. It's very, very funny. But basically, she did a commentary where he, where she kind of gave her own critique, if you will, on certain things that the guy was talking about. Um, and, and again, you, be, you can. And again, you can watch this uh, commentary for yourself because it is hilarious. But some of the characters that he, she, and this guy includes in his countdown are Wave, Blaze, Rouge, Amy, and Tikal. He also adds in Mina and Sally. Now he doesn't, now the other ones that you see here, he doesn't add in. And one that's missing, that should be in this group picture, okay, the ones that are missing out of these pictures here are Julie Sue, Cosmo, and Vanilla, I believe, and, uh, I can't think of any others. You have to, again, you'll have to see the video. But basically, he, in his mind, kind of, again, does what he feels is the top ten attractive Sonic female characters. In other words, the kind that, again, like I said, the kind that he believes is just downright hot. And, you know, again, I can understand Raichisu doing commentary for this because, again, you'll know, kind of find it a little disturbing now, she did admit that when he did the uh, number count for Julie Sue and mentioned her future alternate self, that he basically, basically what he said, basically what this guy said about Julie Sue's uh, Mobius X years later uh, form is the fact that she goes from being who she is now to being downright hot, basically, because she has a long ponytail and everything. And basically, this just cracked the hell up on Rastitsu and cracked me up too. I'm thinking, dude, yes, you know, Archie Comics and whoever, you know, at Sega draws and designs the characters, yes, sometimes they draw them to the point that they look cute and everything, they look attractive, but don't, 
could say that they're hot. I mean, come on, people are going to think something's wrong with you. All right? Uh, the truth is, though, you got to check out the commentary I did. And his number one choice was a very obvious choice, and you could probably guess if you look in this picture who that number one choice was. But again, um, Ratsitsu was someone pointed this video out to Ratsitsu because, you know, I think in a way it kind of surprised her because again she has done top ten lists on Sonic stuff and like and like I said she did a top ten Sonic skill thing for me that I requested and I did one in response, but again what we did was different from what this guy did. This guy basically threw rhymes and. Di different ways of counting down to the number placement of the Sonic Girl. Um, what we did is we just tr did a straight out countdown and explained why this character was on the countdown. We didn't do it because we thought the character was hot. We did it because we wanted to talk about the characteristics, the traits of the characters that made them the number one, you know, put them in the number position that they were in. Not because they were hot, but because of how the characters' traits were, how they were portrayed, you know, in the different franchises or different mediums of the Sonic franchise they appear in, not because they were hot. And, you know, and that is one thing I do want to get across to a lot of people. When me and Rasitsu, and Rasitsu, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, she is a girl. Her name is Daniel. Or not Daniel, but Danielle or Danny. My sister's name is Danielle, short for Danny. And when we did the top 10 Sonic Schools list, again, like I said, we did it out of the fact that we counted down the top 10 Sonic Girls by their characteristics, by who they were, and what their traits were, and what made them that number, and what gave them, and what earned them that position on the countdown. It's basically, and you know, and basically, you know, that's what this guy did, but he did it more on the fact of attractiveness and hotness. And believe me, dude, you're gonna, you probably have had a lot of people thinking. Now, you, I will give, I will say this about the guy. He's probably had some people comment on him on saying, "Oh, those were good choices and everything." But he's probably also had some people think to themselves, "What is wrong with this dude?" You know, I mean, I had my own family comment on the fact that when I did my top ten Sonic Girls list, they actually laughed at me about that. Again, explaining once again, when I did my top ten Sonic Girls list, it was in response to the one Rasitsu did for me. And the reason it was a response, is be, and the reason we both did a similar countdown wasn't because of the attractiveness and the hotness. No. It was basically of who the character was, what they brought to the table character trait wise character wise and trait wise. That's why and how they were portrayed. That you know, basically basically what they brought to the table as they were portrayed, as a character and character trait wise, that's why we counted them down. Not because of the hotness and the attractiveness. That's why Ratsitsu and some people probably were a little disturbed, and especially the, the individual that told Ratsitsu about this video, were a little probably surprised, if not disturbed at times, of uh, the countdown. And basically what this guy said about, you know, why these girls were, you know, these Sonic girls were hot and everything, the way he said them and the things that he said. Now... We don't know if this guy was doing this out of fun and just trying to be comedic. And if he was, hey, congratulations, good for him. He pulled it off. But a little bit of advice to him and anybody else that does a countdown. If you're going to do a countdown on, these, on Sonic Girls like this or any animated females, and you can see my top like 11 animated females or top 12 animated females on both my channels, uh... It's not because of the attractiveness. It's not because they're hot. 
is because of what they bring to the table, character-wise, and the way they'll portray, character trait-wise, character-wise, and the way they'll portray. That's it. Well, I thought I'd get, oops, I thought I'd get that out of my system and give my own response to the video and the commentary that Rashitsu did, which I think was a great co commentary, good work, Rashitsu. And that's just my take on that video the guy did. You got any comments, let me know. And I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. I am out. See ya.